So welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the price of smells market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, July 28, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar. And um, as you can see, we are most likely going to have a crossing of the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average. That should be a bullish sign for this market. Usually that is a bullish sign for any market when the 50 and the 200 moving average basically uh, cross. Either the downside, then it's very bearish. Upside, it is bullish. And uh, we are at the current stage. We have been falling for the last two days quite aggressively. We have rallied after 20 exponential and that's also where we basically rallied in the past. So... So that's kind of a good sign for this market. However, technical indicators are looking dreadful. So we may see something similar to this. It doesn't have to cross here. It may just go flat and then just continue lower. MACD is bearish at this point. So Kasik is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. So this is a bullish shine. That is a bullish shine. But these are all bearish shine for this market. So let's look at oil. So oil is hovering at roughly 71.67 and uh, probably the main reason why we are not getting past that target is uh, basically because of 61.8. Fibonacci retracement is right there. So break above here, uh, then we are mostly going to uh, target this 76.5 uh, or 77. Uh, so that is to be seen. Get rejected here, break below the 50, then we could drop easily towards the 61 65 and break below that then 60 and the 200 moving average comes into play macd is bearish at this point so casting is bullish and rsi is flat so they're not really helpful at at this current stage us dollar if it uh, rallies to the upside then it will most likely work against this and uh, this will most likely fall if that occurs um fed will most likely also have a lot of a lot to say where this market goes uh, basically tomorrow if it's uh, bullish on the U.S. economy or the world economy as a whole, then this will mostly go higher and bearish. Then this will basically fall off a cliff. So natural gas. Yes, so natural gas needed to pull back and it certainly has. Down roughly 4% today and we're trading at the 39 we are mostly going to test the middle of the bullish band at 3.7 and this will probably be just another buying opportunity as uh, there is an doesn't there's no end inside of uh, the heat wave in um, in the united states north of america and uh, east uh, eastern part of uh, united states this we will most likely see a continuation of this so pullbacks towards uh, roughly 3.7 the previous highs here, 15, 20 exponential moving average, probably be where this will continue to the upside. And frankly, at this point, this is what we're looking at. So roughly five, kind of 4.8, five is kind of what we're looking at for this market. It was significantly overbought after this move to the upside, significantly overstretched. And that's also why we are seeing this pullback. MACD is still bullish, but it's turning around. Stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is definitely bearish. Break below the 20 exponential, that opens the door to the 50. So let's look at copper. So copper has definitely broken out of uh, this upper resistant line. I was trying to make this trade uh, for a very long time it failed uh, fail, uh, over and over again and then i just dropped it in and then all of a sudden it basically rallied so it did broke a uh, break this uh, resistant line and now we also broke about the 50 moving average and uh, got significantly overstretched and that's why we are pulling back here so we may, may see this pull back towards the resistant line that's what i'm kind of hoping for before going higher you can see that MACD is bullish, the Kasik is bullish, and RSI is flat at this current stage. But at this point, the highs here of uh, roughly uh, 4.8 is going to be the target. So let's look at gold. So gold is, well, not doing anything, uh, to, be, uh, to be fairly honest. Uh, we, are, we can look at the Fibonacci retracement, and you can see that we did get up towards the 50 Fibonacci retracement up here at the 1835 
and then we have basically been falling ever since. 20 exponential is offering a lot of resistance and it kind of looks like we are just in a grind to the downside. Take out the 1750, then we are most likely going to test the double bottom here. Kind of looks like we are doing this and then just going lower and it's moving really slow. Uh, MACD is constant signal line becoming bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at silver. So silver has a drop towards the 300 moving average and kind of bounce back. Not really. We're closing below the 300 moving average. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. The momentum is definitely to the downside here, as this most likely will follow gold and it usually does follow gold and if gold basically falls towards is a double bottom then this will most certainly follow as well if you look at the long for this market Fibonacci retracement you see that this market could drop all the way down to roughly 22.74 and then the 50 down here at 20 and then the 61.8 at 18 so we have been technically trading within this frame and we are in the middle of things at the moment so this you can see how often we tested this this was the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement we basically we bounced off and we kind of expect a bounce from there if we get back to that point so let's look at platinum so platinum is following towards the 300 moving average at 20 exponential is offering resistant so we can see it here and here and here we do occasionally have these real rallies up towards the 50 but they have been absolutely slaughtered so momentum is definitely the downside question is what basically happens uh, when we if we break below these previous lows here at 1034 and the 300 moving average then we probably drop to to 1000 and then significantly lower than that so this market is kind of still in uptrend but uh break below here then it looks more like we are going back towards these lows you can see that macd is um, bearish at this point stochastic is bearish and the rsi is bearish as well so momentum is definitely the downside but do expect a um, rally when getting to the 300 moving average so let's look at pallium so pallium very similar uh, we do occasionally have these massive rallies here but they are also getting basically slaughtered so fall towards the 200 moving average which is offering a lot of support but the 20 exponential 50 are also offering a lot of resistance at the moment it looks like we're heading back towards the 200 moving average down here at 25 and 36 stochastic and macd is bearish stochastic is bearish and rsi is bearish as well so let's look at aluminium So aluminium, nothing really has happened here the last few trading days. We're hovering just at the 20 exponential and at the moment it's kind of not a trade that I'm interested in. Getting close to the bottom of the bullish band, that is interesting. Get it to the top, that is also interesting. But now you're basically in the middle of nowhere. So MACD is uh, flat, stochastic is bullish and RSI is flat at this point. So let's look at nickel. So nickel is really interesting if you are um, thinking about uh, probably shorting this that is kind of a bad idea because we are taking an uptrend but it got significantly overstretched if you wanted to short it should have done it here we were also on the edge of being overbought we basically were overbought and now we're pulling back so what have happens in this market is that uh, we kind of broke through the upper resistance line so we had basically in this channel lower part here so roughly there so we basically bouncing off the uh, in from the top and the bottom and then we basically went way outside and that usually causes this to become very overstretched and overbought and now we're pulling back quite aggressively question is whether or not we basically go back into this channel to the lows or we basically bounce off the top here and go higher towards 20k that is technically going to be the question here so this has been grinding higher towards 20k for a long time now and uh, we're basically going to create a double top and the question is whether or not we basically pull back aggressively when we do that 
Taking in the Giddish, they are very fairly bullish at this point. MACD is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bearish at this point. So let's look at sugar. Yes, so sugar also got very overstretched yesterday and then pulled back today. And kind of it's expected to continue pulling back until we get towards uh, this resistant line if we get to that point. So we kind of have pulled back or rallied from this point and we could expect this to go towards roughly 1752 uh, before going higher. So we have kind of gotten back towards the very highs here and that's why we're basically pulling back but it's going to be interesting to basically see what happens or that we may see something similar to this that this will more act like this going just sideways for the time being or with a little bit of of an upwards trend so but this is very overstretched and pullbacks at this point is kind of expected. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, RSI is bearish at this current stage. So let's go cotton. So cotton did bounce aggressively yesterday from the 20 exponential and then continues to rally today, but we are getting very close to the top of the bullish band and this tends to pull back towards support at the 20 exponential when it gets to the top we can see it right here we can also see it there 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 and so on macd is bullish stochastic is bullish and rsi is bullish so it's kind of buying the dips that is still the strategy here so let's look at cocoa so cocoa has a really rallied up to the upside yet again we are still in kind of a downtrend or a real downtrend so we are, we can get the, so it kind of looks like something like this. This is what has happened to this market since basically December last year. It has been falling down, great, real rallies here, breakdown, rally, breakdown, rally, breakdown, rally. And at the moment, these major uh, rejections here at the 50 moving average is kind of a similar warning sign that we have seen here, we've seen here, here, and so on. This is a horrible market to trade, very, very aggressive and um, moves to the upside and downside, but that's why I keep away from it. But but at this point, kind of expect this to turn around here and head back south. MACD is bullish, Narcastic is bullish, and RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at wheat. So wheat did have a really nice run yet last week, got uh, basically a shooting star here, and now we have been falling kind of off a cliff. So at the moment, 2050 have been offered support. And if we break below that, then we could head back towards the very low, 0600. Otherwise, if we basically bounce from here and, we, and take out 770, then we could go back to 7050. If you look at technical industry, we can see the MACD is bullish, the CASIC is bearish, and the RSI is flat. So, hope you find this helpful. If you want to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.